Mission Log 081016, Captain Chris Risto of the PR-03 Rasamana S-36. My current mission to fly into the sun of the Eating King by Atom System. Status, ship controls are dark. Distance traveled unknown. I have been destroying asteroids with Damien 9 between pulse engine recharges. It's been about two hours since I left the toxic mushroom Swiss planet, which I discovered. I had crashed my ship there. It made friendly with some of the locals, or at least I assume by the translated smiley faces in my HUD. Finding resources to repair the ship proved to be more difficult than I expected. And my experience with the prototype jetpack was not good. I'm sure it shall improve with time if I survive the current mission. Sentinels were a pain in the ass as they tend to be. However, repair was successful. Before leaving the planet, I flew to the operations center at Untumbali Swamp. A sentinel proved to be more than I could handle as I attempted to breach the facility without a proper weapon. Not sure if I misplaced it or maybe my brain is too fried from space travel to operate my equipment properly. I left Mushroom Swiss, entered space, and approached what appeared to be cargo ships. Enemy ships interfered, so I fled towards an undiscovered moon, Kezalinga. It took longer to reach than I expected, but once I landed, I discovered more wildlife than I had ever seen on a moon before. The temperature of the moon was extremely hot, so I knew I couldn't stay long. The larger animals seemed friendly, non-aggressive, but I suffered my first animal attack in weeks from what I will call a hellhound. Fearful I would not survive, I promptly took off to continue my mission. In another case of space brain, I traveled for a while without my pulse engine boost, but I soon realized I would never make it at that rate. Four hours have passed now. There's no turning back. Either the controls on my ship are ruined, or there was a software issue with my HUD. It's unclear if this is a suicide mission, or some truth will be discovered. I expect to die from the extreme temperatures as I approach. Or I may die of starvation. It seems infinite space separates me from the sun. No matter the distance traveled, the size remains the same. Is it possible that we travel at the same speed away from the planet which nearly took my life hours ago? Or have I lost my mind? For who in their right mind would agree to fly into a star anyway? Until the next log, farewell.